everybody and welcome to the Board Game Bat Cave. This is episode 10 of Building the Ultimate Gaming Table and we're going to show you how, or I'm going to show you how I built the dice towers, which uh, here's one of my pseudo finished ones. Uh, I plan on eventually covering it with polycarbonate and making it see-through like this picture here. But uh, I got tired of waiting on the price of polycarbonate to come down so I went ahead and covered the outer edge with foam core which I think looks pretty good and uh, even one of the guys in my group is uh, designing a, a castle looking theme for it so um, we may go in a different way eventually but right now this is how uh, it looks and uh, it works and uh, later on I'll show you uh, if, if, later on in the video I'll show you how it works in the table so that uh, it makes all more sense uh, than just being a, a video about building a, a box. Um, I really appreciate everyone watching. We're getting really close to finishing the table. You can see the table is finished uh, as far as the videos go. I'm hoping to have the uh, the last part, which is basically the, showing you the finished product and the stain, the walk around. We'll have that in a week or two, um, hopefully before Gen Con, maybe right after Gen Con. I got a lot on my plate right now, um, but uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comments below, and uh, I'm also going to put in the plans, which I got off the internet for these dice towers, which I think are really ingenious, um, in that they just use different pieces of cut tuba twos. Um, so, uh, please subscribe, like uh, the video if you can and uh, enjoy it. So now we're going to start on the dice tower. I uh, got these instructions off the internet on how to build this one I really liked and I'll put those in the comment. Uh, we cut these links here and we're going to shape them down and I'll show you how it's done. I already cut a one version of it as a test because the measurements were in metric and I was switching over to a different size and height and everything so I'd convert it. So this is my test one for part A and so I'll be using that as my template for doing the rest of it. So here's my, I've already started cutting on. Here's my part A, part two. I'll need to cut So we're going to go ahead and do it. Basically, just one forty-five degree cut. Part 
RC is the most difficult one of the bunch. I saved it for last. So we we'll get to this, but I've got to cut down the center of the block to the edge, making a, a slope on it. And uh, I just have to do the best I can.
gotta improvise. I get a chisel and clean that up. So we're gluing them up. Let them sit. And I'll show you the final product when it dries. Here's the dice tower in its niche. Uh, there's space on either side here for the guys to use for storage of their books, uh, notebooks, what have you. Um, also, of course, I'm, eventually this is going to be see-through with the wood showing and uh, it'll be not so uh, different color balance here. But um, the guys share both of these on either side of the dice niche. So we're going to share this dice tower and uh, if I can do this one-handed, I'm going to show you. It's got a foam core in here with a rail to catch the dice from rolling out. Um, of course, it rolls your dice right into there. Or you can move it back. You can take it out, put it on the table, put it in the table, move it around. If, you're not, if your buddy's not here this week, you can move it over in your cubicle. Um, I'm thinking about maybe building a little shelf in here uh, to store dice or store extra things, miniatures, what have you. And then, of course, this is for the sound because it's a lot less noisy whenever you have foam core in there. Uh, and then right in here, you can see where I've cut a gap to make removing the top of the board, or the top of the desk or gaming table easier, the leaves. Uh, and so there's the easy access for it. Uh, I considered for a time also turning, having these turn around and being against here and actually rolling out into the table, but I thought it was more effort than it was worth when this suits the purpose. And this also doubles. Uh, I have some coasters that my son made. This also doubles as your drink holder if you wish. Uh, I'm working on some more drink holders for it, but that's just, you know, dressing. So, there you have it. This is what we're talking about this week with the dice tower.